My dear, I have completed my investigations on this side of life. I am now preparing to materialize on Earth, this time in a more public way. I have important information that I need to share. Your planets are out of sync. Humanity is in danger of crashing. This cannot be allowed. Love will heal your world. I told you some years ago that I was preparing to materialize publicly on Earth with profound messages for mankind. You trusted me, my dear. Your belief and trust in me is exemplary. You never faltered, even when others openly attacked and vilified you. You knew without doubt that I am a man of my word. We will complete our mission. The delays were unavoidable as the Cabal has relentlessly fought to prevent us completing our task. The attacks on your life were withstood with the help of friends. The energy in Ireland this Easter weekend is wonderful to observe. You have been shown how ancient knowledge, sacred symbols, and geometry are still being used to hold humanity in darkness, submission, and control. You were shown the straight connection which Mecca has to Tara Hill. It continues to Washington, D.C. This Irish energy is used to make the U.S. powerful. CERN and Area 51 are also extracting energy from Tara. The Vatican also steals Irish energy from Tara. Sacred symbols are openly used to control and destroy humanity. Every building owned by the Cabal openly displays these symbols. The ancient knowledge and history of these symbols was kept secret from humanity, and every day in every way, they are used against you. You have only to look at the Vatican to see this evil openly on view. The Vatican foolishly believes that because it has instilled such fear in humanity with their blatant lies about death and hell etc., man would never dare question them. Well, their time is up. The Vatican is exposed for the evil that it is. Its central system is in tatters. When you looked at the control system on the map, you were shocked to see that though the Cabal tells you that there is conflict, you see only cooperation and control. You now see that they are all connected. They work together, as one, to control mankind. Temple Mount, Corona, Washington, United Kingdom, Jerusalem, Mecca, Vatican, CERN, Area 51, are all extracting energy from Tara. It is a wonder that the Irish people manage to survive at all. It is the Irish people's connection to Source that has helped them to survive, despite everything lined up against them. Once Ireland breaks free from the central grid, the whole world will be free. You have come this far in the unveiling of the corruption. You are almost there. Humanity had free will, but it chose the wrong path. The Vatican used force to draw you into its control. You have since paid a very high price for that mistake. Come together, believe in yourselves, and go forward with absolute confidence that you will free yourselves and the earth. Ireland now needs total freedom from the vultures which steal her energy and use every means at their disposal to ensure the Irish people do not wake up to who they are and what the island of Ireland is. In 1916 the Irish rose up and demanded freedom. Now, in 2016, this task must be completed. You want total freedom. Every country will follow you through the door to freedom. This door must be opened. Do this and the evil control system of the Vatican and its accomplices will become a thing of the past, quickly forgotten. Go forward with confidence, knowing that you are on the right path. Believe me, my friends, this evil control system must first be removed from Ireland, as this is where it gets its energy and power. Ireland will create the door which all other countries will walk through. The energy stolen from Ireland is used to fuel wars and destruction and control of all sorts. This must be prevented. Much is being revealed that may shock and upset you, but it is time to be brave and move forward into a new way of living life on Earth, where peace, harmony, and love rule. The timing is right. The timing is now. Celebrate the Easter Rising of 1916. Use it as encouragement for humanity to rise up against the tyranny of its oppressors. Move forward with love in your hearts. My dear, enjoy the time with your family today. You are working hard to find ways to take humanity forward. Thank you for moving my ashes. 
The old location caused problems, as the sunlight on the urn on my desk was too hot. I could feel it. I will let you know if it needs moving again. Let's move forward with love in our hearts.